Hey guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be embarrassing myself. Um, so I've seen a few of these videos and I always find them really like fun and interesting to watch. So I thought I would film one for you guys and basically I'm just going to be sharing with you guys some of my most embarrassing stories. Um, now, I'm not excited for this at all. But let's just get into it. The first story I have takes place in about like grade one, maybe. I could be totally wrong, but my nan was picking me up from school one day, and I'm so out of breath because I'm so embarrassed. Like, I don't even want to think about this. <laughs> my nan was picking me up from school one day, and so my nan's like got like blonde hair, and she was like, she at the time they had a silver BMW like I don't know what kind just like a little one and my nan was picking me up from school and it was like a stop drop and go type thing so I saw what I thought was my nan's car with my nan in the front and I go up and I try and get in the front door <laughs> and I'm standing there for literally like a solid minute and a half like trying to get in the door before I even looked in the car and I look in the car and I still think it's my nan and I'm like, let me in. And it was some random kid's mum. And she had locked the doors of the car. Like, it was so embarrassing. Like, I literally, like, I didn't tell anyone. Like, my mum doesn't know this happened. My nan, like, no one knows this happened because it's so embarrassing to me. Because this woman fully, like, locked her car doors. Like, I was a little kid just trying to get in the car. You know, you'd think she'd be like, oh, sweetie, like, you think you have the wrong car, but no, she's like, lock those doors. Like, that was... So I'm kind of working from, like, when I was younger to when I was older. And so in grade, like, four or, like, five, maybe, I don't know, somewhere in between, like, grade three and grade five, I had a YouTube channel that I would, like, post random videos. <laughs> of myself like singing and dancing and if you know me then you know that I am not musically gifted at all but I would post these YouTube videos like they're all gone now like I think I actually posted them on like Google like you know like Google Plus or whatever it's called the thing that's like linked with YouTube I don't know I still don't understand that stuff but like I would like literally post these videos of me trying to sing and dance and they were so embarrassing like see I don't remember deleting them at all but like I know that they don't exist anymore so I'm not really sure what happened there um if I can somehow find them then like maybe I'll like insert a clip I don't know but like literally I think only one person really knows about this that is so embarrassing like I cannot sing to save a life and I would post these videos online of me trying to sing why would I do so this next one happened in I think like grade three or like something <laughs> it's like super random and it's just like a quick little story but like I find it hilarious it's not necessarily embarrassing anymore but it's just so freaking hilarious <laughs> so in like grade three or something there was a kid in my class called Ezra and I don't know why like I think I might have like had a little crush on him you know like a little third grade crush and I think we had been at like assembly or something or we were going to assembly but anyway we were walking as like a class somewhere and I'm walking like with my friends and I thought it would be like a really good idea to like walk with my eyes shut and I don't know if it was because I was tired or just because I wanted to walk with my eyes shut but I did I was walking with my eyes shut and I crashed into like a pole like we have like these massive like poles and I had my eyes shut I didn't like walk into it hard but like I bumped into it and for some reason, I just go, oh, sorry, Ezra, and just keep walking, and then, like, I open my eyes, 
and it was a poll and for some reason I thought it was Ezra I don't know if it was because I was thinking about him or like what I don't know I don't remember ever having a crush on him but like that's the only reason I can think that I would do that so this one's like kind of more recent but also it's like ages ago it just doesn't feel like that long ago so this one's from grade six which was ages ago but for some reason I feel like it's recent but it's not but um so in grade six I didn't like shave my legs yet I don't know if that's weird or not I don't know but anyway um I, I was in the shower one night and like my sister's razor was in the shower so I used it and I like shaved like a little patch on my leg, like this big, like just like on my leg. And then I got really scared that like my mum would see it and she'd get mad at me and I was like freaking out like the entire night. Like I wore like long pants, it was like summer and I'm like wearing like long pants. Like I didn't want to take my pants off because I was so scared mum would notice, which one, I don't know why she'd notice, like it wasn't noticeable at all. And two, it's not like she would ground me. Like, I don't know what I thought was going to happen. Like, why would she care? Like, anyway. And so my mum worked in the tuck shop at my school. So oh, we get to school the next morning and I go into the tuck shop and I ask the other lady who worked with my mum, for like a brown paper bag and a piece of paper like just like white paper so I get the white paper and I rip a little square and <laughs> I write on it I shaved a patch of my leg all right and I put it inside the brown paper bag and on the brown paper bag I write dear mum I'm so sorry I did something bad <laughs> look inside the bag to find out what <laughs> That's how I told my mum because I was so embarrassed and so scared to tell her in real life that that's what I thought was a good idea. Like, <sighs> oh my goodness, you guys! I literally nearly forgot about this story. This this story entirely. Like, but I was just looking through the notes on my phone and remembered, and I was like, oh my gosh, crap! I didn't film that one, and it is one of the best stories on this list. It is so embarrassing because I just forgot about this part. I have no idea what grade I was in at all when this happened. Probably around grade four or five maybe, which makes it even more embarrassing because like I wasn't crazy young. But so like I mentioned my mum worked in a tuck shop so every afternoon we would go to the bank and like put all like the money that they earned in the bank and in the bank there was like a box in the wall with like a slit where you could like put the money you're putting into the bank if it's got everything filled out like where you could just chuck it on in and I saw a man putting something in it and I didn't know what went in it. And I just saw this man and I was like, what's he doing? So he puts his money in the thing and he leaves the shop. So it's just me and my mum in there with all like the bank lumpies, obviously. And I walk up to the little box thing, which I'll have a photo of what I mean here because I'm not very good at explaining it. But I walk over to the little box thing and I wanted to know what was inside the box. Okay, like it's as simple as that. So I put my arm in. I get halfway, like my arm gets to about like here. And so I can't go any further. So I'm like, ah, oh, can't get any further. I'll just have to ask mum what happens in here. Try and pull my arm out. And my arm was stuck. I couldn't get it out. I like tried everything. I was like squeezing it to make it like slimmer. I was like doing everything. I was like thinking small thoughts. Like I could not get my arm out. So I had to like, I didn't want to tell my mum. So I just had to wait for her to notice. And then she comes over and tries to get my arm out. And then like at this point we had gone to the bank like every afternoon for like a while now. So we were quite close with all the people in the bank. So like they knew that I wasn't like trying to steal the money or anything. That I was just like obviously like why would I want to steal the money? Like that's just 
if I was going to steal the money, I would do it in a much better way than sticking my arm in the thing and pulling it out. Like, So she goes and she's got like oil and stuff and like literally there was like three people just trying to get my arm out of this like money hole that like my arm shouldn't have been in in the first place. Like, that's so embarrassing because like, The fact that I had my arm in there and like once I did it I realized it was money and I knew I shouldn't have my arm in there so I was kind of like crap now I can't tell mom because she's gonna think I was trying to steal it which like obviously I wasn't like I said and I know they wouldn't think that but like at the time I was like oh my gosh everyone's gonna think I'm trying to steal the money I can't tell anyone I have to get my arm out I have to get my arm out I have to get my arm out couldn't get my arm out had to tell someone I think I was like crying as well because I was like scared and like panicked and like yeah. I have no words that is so embarrassing why would I do that like it's so obvious that that wasn't going to go well the slit is like this big like my arm why why did I think that was a good idea I'm glad I remembered to tell this story though because I do think it's freaking hilarious not for me but for everyone else I've ever told they find it hilarious because it's so stupid and embarrassing and like I wasn't that young that it's like oh it's fine you were basically a baby like no I was actually like kind of old this last one is one that I was dreading telling because it is like to this day I can't think about it without like wanting to like crawl up in a bowl and just die So this was like grade 7 or 8 even maybe, which like wasn't that long ago but like I'm going to pretend it was a really long time ago because I don't want to think about it. So this one happened <laughs> at my school and so at the school I go to we have like our school and then when you come out there's like the church and the barista. Um, and to get up to the barista it's like a level up so you can like walk up the hill and then over. Or you can just like walk up a bunch of rocks. It's not like a rock climbing or anything. It's not hard. And I decided I was gonna walk up walk walk. I decided I was gonna walk up the rocks with my friends on this particular day. And we're walking up the rocks, and at the time there was like something under construction on like the grass part near the barista. So like where the rocks went up to, there was like construction. So there was like a fence kind of blocking it off. <laughs> this is so embarrassing because every single person who's watching this probably knows exactly who I'm talking about. But so there was this guy who I liked at the time. And so we're walking up the, the, mm, the rocks and this guy comes over and he like moves the fence for us. He's like, oh, let me make it a bit safer for you girls. And he moves the fence and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, like, and then they all walk up the rocks just fine and I walk up the rocks <laughs> and as I'm walking up the rocks <laughs> I don't know how but I just face plant <laughs> and my knee is like bleeding like I literally have a scar on my knee like there is like rock inside my knee like you can still see it to this day and I'm so embarrassed at this point I'm like laying on the ground like wanting to kill myself I didn't get up straight away because I was like I don't want to know what just happened and then my other one of my friends goes it's fine she's the Hulk like, they, and then I finally get up and as I'm getting up the guy who I like is still sitting and he goes ooh and walks away Ooh, it just walks away, just walks away. Oh, I literally like wanted to die. Um, okay, so if I've moved or like something's changed, it's because my camera died and then I came back and like got put a new battery and then kept recording and everything. And then I was looking at the footage and the entire last half that I filmed, like, 
the voice, the sound, and the audio in the video was like totally at different times. I don't know why, but yeah. So that last story, eh? Mm. Not a good time. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> just no, no. Everything about it makes me want to die. I still have the scar on my leg to this day. Like, to this day, I think I've walked off those rocks once, which was like a couple weeks ago because I'm finally getting over my fear. But like, I'm too scared to walk up those stairs, those rocks, I mean, because I'm so embarrassed. Like, <laughs> why did that have to happen to me? Like, why? Okay guys, so they were my embarrassing stories. I hope you guys at least got a little bit of enjoyment out of this because I certainly did not. So I'm just going to sit here for a while and contemplate my entire life and um, yeah. But I do hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did remember to like and subscribe. Um, I try and make videos every week and if you guys want you can totally add me on all my social medias down below and check out my blog um yeah aside from that see you guys next week bye